Well, certainly Hyung Min Son was very hard to contain in the first 45. Lee, what did you make of it? A real struggle to contain. See, he has like this physical presence about him that's actually really nice. Skin move came off really quick. Oh my god. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Hyungmin Sun Player of the Month card to review today. So this is my almost full first owner team over here. So pretty cool cons that we're working with right now. Um, really wanted to pack that Renato Sanchez, but I don't know if that's going to happen. But for the sake of the review, ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a look at a card that is six foot tall with high, high work rates, right footed with four star skill moves and a five star weak foot. In regards to his in-game player traits, he does have the finesse shot trait, which is obviously very, very helpful. Finesse shots from outside the 18 yard box with the trait especially is actually incredibly helpful. So trying him out up top is going to be very interesting for sure. In regards to his in-game abilities, he's got 88 acceleration with 91 sprint speed. Uh, base card stats for shooting, very, very good. 90 attacking positioning with 88 finishing 90 shot power 92 long shots with 90 composure so being able to utilize a finesse shot as much as possible his shooting stats his five star weak foot under pressure with the 90 composure should be very very nice right the shooting stats look amazing we're gonna be trying that out in game obviously uh with his 90 attacking positioning and his high high work rates i'm curious to see how he utilizes empty space on the pitch because to be honest strikers uh, off the ball movement is very hard to come by in regards to it being top tier like for me one of the very few players that I've tried out so far that weren't the top tier meta players like Ronaldo uh, Neymar Mbappe was Inaki Williams's card but Inaki Williams still has his issues here and there in regards to full meta this human Sun card could be potentially a beast up top in the striker position we will be trying him out in different positions as well but in regards to passing on the card with the engine chemistry style, we're boosting it even more, right? So if you want to use him as a left attacking mid, as a striker, this card looks great because in the left attacking mid position, right? If he has the pace, which we are now giving him with the 93 acceleration, 96 sprint speed, uh, if he's playing on the sides and I... And, you know, he ever like cuts inside and gets it on his finesse shot or he cuts inside and he can do like a through ball pass to certain players. Um, it looks like he can be very good at doing that. Now, the dribbling is the thing that we have to test out the most. And that's why we gave him the engine chemistry style because of his base shooting stats already being very good. And because of the finishing in this game being better, um, we're giving him a plus 10 for balance with a plus five for agility and a plus nine for dribbling. Very important that EA actually gave him the 91 reactions and 89 ball control with 90 composure because this is like probably the most obvious chemistry style you would actually give the card. Like you could give him a hunter for sure, but probably wouldn't be ideal because you want the card to be as responsive as possible constantly, right? And then last but not least, he doesn't really have any physical attributes, but his body type actually does help him from time to time in the actual game itself with 91 stamina, right? So a lot of very cool variables to work with in regards to this card. Um, in this team, I'd probably like take out Ben Yedder and then put in my untradeable Usman Dembele up top on seven chemistry while uh, while Heung-Min Sun actually plays uh in the striker position while Dembele plays on the side because then I think the balance on the team would actually be significantly better. So if I have left wing to left forward, then I'll definitely do that right now so I can experiment with it, and I do, so that's perfect. So what we're actually going to do here is I'm going to do this. I'm going to show you guys what's up. I'm going to put Dembele up top in the striker position, and I am going to set up the team like this. I think Dembele on full chemistry is important, if uh, you're using him as a striker on the sides, it's not as important, if that makes sense. But it's always nice to get these players on full chemistry regardless. The reason why I want to do this is because I feel like doing this is the most ideal situation, right? Usman Dembele on the left, Anzu Fati on the right, with Hyung Min Sun up top in the striker position. Only on comeback on defense. Uh, with his high, high work rates, it's going to be very interesting to see what he's like moving across the pitch in general, right? So uh, we're going to be trying out the 4-2-3-1 with him. It's just come back on the fence, so it won't affect his attacking AI too much. Um, I'm really hoping that this card's a beast up top because I've been kind of missing that really top tier striker. Like Dembele can play striker on 10 chemistry, but he doesn't feel like a striker, if that makes any sense, right? So uh, let's get into a game and see how this human son plays. All right, so we'll switch to our 4-2-3-1. Let's see what the vibes are with this card. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. What is his dribbling like? 
Yeah, thanks, Derek. Great atmosphere here. The two sides, I'm sure, will set a quick tempo. Oh, his dribbling's actually really nice with the engine chemistry style. The cool. The chomping at the bit. I can't wait. Promising attack, this. Over there, he was really stagnant. He didn't really want to move forward, which is fine, because sometimes the players have to kind of, like, adjust to the actual formation. Finesse shot? Ooh. And so it begins, boys. And so it begins. Base card stats for shooting, incredible, so he can actually score those types of opportunities. He kind of, it's its funny, because the way that he's, like, he's positioning himself, it's not, like, too aggressive. It's actually just like, hey, I'm going to try to go for this finesse shot right here. Okay, so over here he actually moves to the side. Interesting. Lose the ball there, but I did do some uh, poor dribbling, to be fair. Oh, defensive play, nice. We're going to aggressively push that. I just want to see when he's, like, coming back into positions. Okay, so he sticks to the side. Somebody else occupies a striker position. Now he starts to go back into his original position. Cool. Mastery of the passing game. Yeah, it's funny. He's uh, the way he's positioning himself. It's kind of like he's just kind of preparing to get those specific angles right there. You know what I'm saying? Just the way he positions himself. It's like he wants to only take those finesse shots. The 4 2 3 one that I'm using is like very conservative, so I'm just going to go ahead and switch formations here in a bit. Just wish I could pass the ball in certain areas, it'd be great. <laughs> oh, right back to him. Nicely done. I love those blocks. Those little uh, flick ups, boys. You know, the, that's, the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the top tier meta in this game. We're going to switch to our uh, 4 3 2 1 now. Let's see what's up. Fernando. To dispossess your opponent. Nice. A little layoff there. Oh, it's a terrible layoff, but we move. Youngman Sun's being really aggressive right there, too, so it could have worked out perfectly for us. His positioning wasn't bad. I just, I really forced those passes right there because I just wanted to get the ball to him. But um, yeah, his positioning was pretty decent there, to be fair. Aggressive run right there with Hyungmin Sun. We actually get that touch off, but I try not to go into the middle right there. I try to like just pass it like on the upward side, but we move. Son. Brilliant piece of skill. Did that go in? Oh my god, I thought that went in. Yo, Hyungmin Sun, you know what's really interesting about Hyungmin Sun's card? Is that his physical capabilities is actually kind of relevant, even though he doesn't have physical stats. You know what I'm saying? It's very interesting with this card. Um, yeah, so far, it, dude, and honestly, in any of the attacking positions, he definitely plays really well. Uh, what I will say about Hyungmin Sun's card is that his attacking AI is not that aggressive, although it's really going to depend on the tactics that you're using as well, right? What I actually want to do for this team in particular is I want to use Japes' 4-3-3, and I want to try Sun out in the striker position with, with Dembele off to the right and then Fatih off to the left. I'm really curious to see how he's going to play with the false nine instruction this time because honestly i'm actually really enjoying the car because he has such a great uh shooting presence about him because of that five star weak foot that he has so um yeah let's get into uh let's get into the match again and see what's up well certainly hyung min son was very hard to contain in the first 45 lee what did you make of it a real struggle to contain. see he has like this physical presence about him that's actually really nice skin move came off really quick oh my god Oh my god, dude. Bro, I'm telling you guys right now, the finesse shot trait on this card, that five star weak foot, is crazy. His skill moves actually are coming off like faster than I thought they would, to be honest with you guys. Well, they want that equalizer, but the passing remains smooth. Oh, they have it again. Oh my god, is he gonna score that opportunity? That would have sucked right there. Please don't kick it. Oh. Uh, I was trying to like spam the clearance there. I'm switching Sun between like the sides and uh, the striker position because I just want to see what he's like in each area. 
Ah, oh, that pass was too much right there. Way too much right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like switching in between striker and the wings like constantly because, dude, he plays really well in any of the attacking positions. I do think that the engine chemistry style is really helping out this card a lot. Like, he feels really fun to use, man. Because this rare golds card, I felt like when I gave him an engine chemistry style, because when I, I when I tried him, and I was like, this card's really good, but he's still, he's still missing that dribbling presence a little bit. But this card, man, with that finesse shot train, that five-star weak foot, and then improved dribbling stats is really, really dope, man, for sure. Oh, and the striker position for false nine. This guy's going to be too sick. Let's try finesse shot from bad angle. He still hits them, dude. He still hits the finesse shots from terrible angles. Yeah. First time dribbles are great too, man. First time strike? Let's get it, man. Let's get it, dude. This guy I'm playing against is, is definitely like a top tier player for sure. And uh, let me tell you guys, man, Hyungman Sun's doing the work right now. He's doing the work right now, dude. I definitely got to get rid of Sanson though, because Sanson meta wise is not necessarily ideal. Great for the price, but not for uh, not for meta purposes for sure. And Konate with his freaking beast blocks, man. See that first time dribble, you see how it's not emphasized? It's very, very important that the players don't do that. Look, touch, go, touch, go, constantly. Look, I do the skill move, he kind of comes off the skill move quickly, dribbles the ball quickly. Scoop turn, finesse shot, oh. That's the angle you want to work for though, man. When he has that finesse shot angle, you want to be able to shoot those opportunities. His movement's pretty crazy. He's just moving all over the place, kind of making the play less predictable. I like it. Ah, I, I dribbled in the wrong direction. If I went downwards and then I used his five-star weak foot, would have been perfect right there. All right, guys. So final verdict on the Hyungmin Sun Player of the Month card. I really enjoyed using it. This card will definitely be very helpful for my team, in my opinion, just because of the way that they upgraded the stats of this card. So let's take a look at the differences between the rare gold and this card. So I understand that it's only by plus twos for a card like this and plus fours and for the passing and stuff, but I'm telling you guys, I definitely noticed a huge significant difference. And the reason being for this is because of the certain chemistry style that you give a card like this for how he's going to perform in game, right? Because if I look at this rare gold card, right? And I were to give him an engine chemistry style, in my opinion, right, this is still a great card, but boosting the shooting by an extra twos in certain areas, boosting the dribbling by extra twos in certain areas for the type of body type that he has, it is incredibly helpful for the card. And in my opinion, I think the card played really, really well for me with the player of the month version of it. Human Sun's definitely in form this year. Um, I'm not sure how often he's going to get uh, in form cards. I don't think EA should have made his card an 89 rating. I think it should have been a 90 or a 91 because... Uh, yeah, a card like this. I mean, a guy like this in real life is doing great with Harry Kane, right? So I'm not sure how often he's going to get Team of the Week. So in regards to if it's worth it in that regard, I'm not sure. But did I really enjoy using this Player of the Month card? Yes, especially since I'm kind of going on the first owner flex for my main team. He was a ton of fun to use. Off the ball movement's great. He kind of positions himself in a way where he really wants to go for those finesse shots. I would dribble in the wrong direction with this card. But if I dribbled in the right direction with this card, I would have scored a lot of opportunities especially because he has that five-star weak foot with that trait. It's a very, very big thing. But the other big thing with this card is that touch-and-go movement that I kept mentioning, right? The fact that he can touch the ball, take that, that sweet little touch, and then shoot the ball immediately or pass the ball immediately is very, very important in regards to this card being good. So I definitely really enjoyed using him in any of the attacking positions. You can use him as a cam, left cam, right cam, striker. Doesn't matter. This card's a beast. So... Hopefully you guys enjoy the review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.